What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is James. For those of you who are new to the channel, I like clothes and well-made things. But today I wanna go over a few different recent pickups that I got. For those of you who are new to the channel, I wear a suit five days a week and then when I'm not wearing the suit, I try to go back and forth between the styles that I really like. For the last couple months, years or so, I've been trying to find a really great kind of equilibrium, something that I can wear day in that's gonna show my personal style but also kind of conform to what I have to wear for work and things of that nature. Let's get into the new clothes. I'm gonna leave chapters below and then I'm gonna put the names and the descriptions to everything so you guys can purchase it if you're interested. We're gonna go shoes first and then we're gonna work our way up to tops. Let's get into it. My first pickup for this is gonna be my new tassel loafers. So these are a brand called Velasca. I don't know how to say the name so I'm not gonna even bother trying to like describe it but I'm gonna leave it right here as well as links to everything on them. But this is a 100% calfskin Goodyear welted tassel loafer. The color that I chose is gonna be the burgundy. I really like this loafer because it's like the perfect example of like a well-made loafer at an amazing price. For those of you who are not familiar with Alaska, they are a direct-to-consumer brand out of Italy. All of their stuff is gonna be made 100% in Italy, so you're getting a really good quality at a really good price. I believe I paid a little over $300. They're like $330, and I can tell you value for money, these are amazing. So they are a full, 270 degree welted sole. Essentially what that means is you have 360 degree welts and then you have 270 degree welts. So 270 is gonna go all the way to like where the heel is. So you're gonna have a welt through the heel and then they're gonna hammer in the heel and the, the bed into the shoe. So it's gonna have a little bit more flexibility. It's also gonna be a tighter shoe. If you look at something like an Allen Edmond, they do a 360 degree welt. And essentially what that means is the welt goes completely around the shoe. I've noticed that like you're super high end or your really high-end shoes are gonna have a 270 degree weld. Most Vibergs are gonna have like a 270 degree weld. You're gonna look at like some like Edward Greens and John Lobs are gonna have that 270 and then like more robust shoes are gonna have a 360 degree weld. I really love the color of this because it's got that kind of dark reddish brown look but then also has kind of hints of black. The reason why I went with this color is because I don't have a lot of brown shoes. As you may know, I wear a lot of black as far as shoes goes and I wanted something that was gonna be able to wear with like a nice brown but also be able to wear with like a really elegant blue and then my greens and stuff like that the burgundy to me was like the perfect in between upper is going to be a full calfskin so if you look at it i believe it's like a calfskin with a treated kind of cover i always make sure i put shoe trees in my shoes i think that's a hugely important thing to do especially if you want shoes to last a long time when i bought them i bought the traditional shoe trees with them as well i just think that's such an important thing to have because it's going to keep the last of the shoe perfect but if you look on the inside, so you're gonna get a full calfskin leather inside of it. You're gonna have a calf toe bed with a kind of a sock lining, a three quarter sock lining. You'll look at the bottom, you've got your leather soles, the stitch density is amazing. Typically with shoes there, the break-in period is a little longer. These ones are still kind of breaking in, but they're so much fun and they're just such a great loafer. And I have official like kind of brownish red, non-black loafer that is good for like daily use, wearing with a pair of jeans. Just overall perfect and I'm super happy to have these. The sizing that I went with this, um, so traditionally I would do like a 40.5 or even like a 41. And on the website it says to go down a half a size based off of what people are saying because the toe box and the last is a little longer. I went with a 40 with these. They are slightly snug, but they're breaking in perfectly. So I wouldn't change anything about the sizing. But these are my Velasca tassel loafers in burgundy. An amazing loafer that I'm super happy to have. And I'm excited to see how these wear over the next couple years. So I've got a lot of shoes, so I didn't need to buy more shoes. Now we're gonna go into pants. The pants are gonna be quick because I actually don't have them in right now. I sent them to the tailor because they were a bit long. I will say that I really like the pants. They're gonna be, I believe they're called the, again, I don't want to just slaughter the name. I apologize to all the Italian friends that know how to say it properly, but um, again, I'm gonna leave it right here as well as a description of everything below. So I like these pants. The one thing that I will say is when I put them on, they were a little bit more slim than I'm used to. I'm about 5'8", 180 pounds. So they are more of a skinny fit than like a straight fit, but it was definitely something that worth keeping. I didn't return them. They do fit long, so I had to go get them hemmed at the store, but I'm excited. They're a single pleat with a little bit of stretch. They are more relaxed as far as like formal going, but it's something that I'll be able to wear a lot. And I'm excited to kind of have a nice pair of khaki pants. Again, these are made in Italy, so you're gonna get a lot of quality with them. So I only bought one pair of pants as well. 
fall. I feel like I've got so many pairs of pants and so much of everything, but a pair that I wanted to get just to kind of complement some of the other stuff that I just got. So next on the list, I have jackets. As you may know, I am a jacket fiend. I have too many jackets and I'm gonna continue to buy too many jackets, but two of these jackets were things that I definitely needed. And then this is another one was just something that I really wanted. Let's get into the first jacket. The first jacket that I got is this unlined blazer. I really like this blazer. So it's 98% cotton and then 2% elastane. The jacket itself, the name is called the Greco, I believe. I love this jacket. So I got it a month ago and I wear it probably once or twice a week for work. So it's an unlined soft shouldered, two and a half button blazer. And the cool thing about it is you'll see on the lapels, it looks like it's fading. The cool thing about it is it allows me to dress it up and I feel like I'm formal, but also if I want to wear jeans, it looks super casual as well. This one itself made in Italy. I love the like kind of detailing on the inside. The buttons themselves are going to be 100% horn buttons. It is a two and a half button. So for those of you who are not familiar with like suiting, essentially what a two and a half button is, it's a two button, but the lapels kind of curl up into the third button. So it's not actually funk. It, it, kind of is functional, but nobody ever uses it that way. The horn buttons are got such a cool kind of texture to it. And then they have the embossed or, or the engraving of Velasca on there. You'll see that you've got kind of a patch pocket on there, which gives it a more casual look. My boss refers to this as like almost like a hunting jacket. And I would say that he's probably right. So it's definitely like a heavier weight, nice feeling jacket that almost looks better with a little bit of wrinkles. The fabric itself is a little bit heavier. Probably my favorite jacket. I'm probably going to buy a, another one. Are they doing a few different colors and I think it's amazing. In regards to the cut of it, I wear a 40 uh, suit, so just a 40 regular. I could probably go with a 40 short if I really wanted to and it fits amazing. So if you're on the website, it'll probably be like a 50. So just make sure you're kind of checking the two. It fits well. It's one of those jackets that's got like a perfect amount of stretch with a perfect amount of cotton. So it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything like cheap. You're able to wear it and move. I love the kind of soft shoulder of it. It's the perfect length. The two and a half buttons are, are are like elevated with being casual, but also not being casual, you could literally wear for everything. So Velasca's kind of idea is they want to go direct to consumer and kind of focus on using um, like Italian companies. So they have like the suiting people and then they have the shoe people and then they have the jacket people. And those are going to be in different parts of Italy, kind of focus on what those industries are good at. And they focus on that as well as like the mantra is going to be very like, like Mediterranean kind of vibe near the coast. Their stuff is going to be like relaxed, tight, perfect thing. Everything is going to be made perfectly and, and thought out and it's going to have like a very menswear and Italian heritage, but it is also something that's casual that if you were, you know, just going to grab like a quick lunch with friends or you're going to hop on a moped or do something like that, you're going to get that vibe as well. And I, I think they nailed it. And I think like the price points of everything are amazing. I believe this is a little over $500. So the quality is much better. You're going to get made in Italy as opposed to made in China. You're going to have horn buttonholes. You're going to get some really nice fabrics. They're very transparent about where they get everything. And I love the way that it fits with a pair of jeans and just my loafers. I wear it with a suit. And then I actually bought those pants that I was just talking about specifically to wear with this because I think it just wears together so well. Overall, it's just an amazing jacket. So next I have kind of a jacket-ish. Uh, so it's not actually a jacket, it's a vest. Victoria makes fun of me all the time because I wanna be a vest person so bad and she hates vests, but I had the opportunity to get it. So I pulled the trigger and I'm very happy with it. I think it's like, again, the perfect Italian casual dressy. If for those of you who are really big into that, like stealth wealth, it gives that kind of stealth wealth vibe. It's just absolutely amazing and I'm so happy to have it. So this is the, again, I'm gonna screw up the name, so I'm sorry to all my people that are living in Italy. This is called the Samont, S-O-M-M-O-N-T-E. And this is a suede bomber vest. This one was a bit on the expensive side. I think it was around $500. And the reason why I went with this piece is because I love my Stofa bomber, but sometimes I wanna wear it like just a collared shirt and just kind of have like the vest look. So the color that I went with is like a light beige. So if you look at the beige, it's got like just a traditional kind of calfskin suede. And then the upper has got like more of like a bomber feel to it. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six horn buttons on the jacket. And the texture of the uh, buttons is amazing as well. As you can tell, it's still got the Velasca logo on them. It's fully lined. 
So if you look on the inside, it's got two pockets on each side, which I think is just such an amazing touch. Most of this stuff is gonna have like a suiting kind of inspire to it or like a menswear inspire. So it's got that kind of soft lining to it with again, the Velasca patch. The thing that I love and hate about bomber jackets is the pockets. So sometimes when you have a bomber jacket or you have a bomber vest or something like that, you can never find the pockets like easily. You have always like search and they're like at the back of your hip. These ones are not that. They're the weight of the jacket because of the suede kind of gives it a good feel for you're putting your hands in. I love the fact again that it has the buttons to it because then it allows me to open it up because I am short. This does fit a little bit longer than like traditionally what I'm used to. I like a crop. Again, this is a thing where I'll wear a pair of chinos or a pair of suit pants and it looks amazing. It adds to that like stealth wealth. The quality for money again is amazing. Again, this is made in Italy. It's so nice. I, I'm gonna wear it with jeans and a t-shirt and then I can wear it with a, a suit and then I can wear it with chinos and just so perfect and it's a great like mid layering piece as well so if I'm wearing this and then I can throw like a jacket over it and it gives it like a really great layered look love this vest and this is definitely a staple that I'm gonna be wearing for for many many years and I love the color because it complements my Stofa jacket so perfectly this is my Velasca Samont Samont vest again I'll leave a description below as well as a link to it so I got my last thing and this is actually probably the piece that I've been wearing more than any Thing. I wear it with jeans, I wear it with my suit, I've worn it with my sweatpants. It is perfect. And it still has that kind of suiting vibe. And this is my Velasca Bomber. So as you can tell, I've been really kind of digging Velasca for the last couple months. I just think that they have the perfect price for quality in there. This bomber is called the Grano, Tor I don't know. I'm sorry, again, Torgrano. You feel that it's a fully polyester upper, but it's got like a DWR feel. You can feel the touch of it and it gives it a water repellent feel. So the other day I was wearing it to work and it was slightly raining and you can just see the beating of the water just coming off it. I wouldn't recommend wearing it in like a downpour. You're getting the horn buttons so these ones are like a dark blue but you can see the texture of brown in them it's very similar to the vest that I just got but with arms so you're gonna get that bomber upper this one actually has an amazing crop look which I like so much and weirdly enough I get caught up you buy these things and I feel like you get caught up in buying colors of stuff I actually had no like navy jackets I've got like green jackets I got black jackets I've got everything I had no navy jackets so this was a great opportunity to, to do this again you're gonna look on the inside you've got the button so you can kind of wear it cropped it's got more of a bomber fit so it's cr way more cropped and bunched in the bottom which I like because I'll just wear it open and it kind of spreads out the blue on this is killer. It matches pretty much all my suits. Again, you're getting your lining like you would like a traditional suit with a pocket on the on the right side and a pocket on the left side. Your Velasca print as well. If you look, the jacket itself has the pockets in the front and they have the buttons on them, but you can tuck in the flap. If you look at it, you can see that the flap itself is, is open and then it literally just tucks right into the pocket and you'll never even notice it's there. I've worn this thing more than I've worn anything. I would say my two things that I've worn the most clothing wise are going to be the bomber as well as the blazer. I mean, I've probably got seven or eight wears out of each one of these and I love them. I'm definitely going back and definitely gonna buy some more. The loafers I've worn probably twice a week for the last three weeks and they've been amazing. But this is just, again, a perfect in-between. You can dress it up and then you can dress it down. I found myself wearing this jacket more than I've worn probably any of my other jackets just because it's so versatile. It's light enough that if it's like 40, 50 degrees, I throw it on with a t-shirt, but then it's also nice enough where I'm wearing a pair of dress pants and a suit, then it's perfect for that as well. It just works so well. And then on the light rain, I love this jacket. I really do. And it, this is a jacket that I'm gonna have for a very, very long time. I'm curious how the polyesters in the DWR is gonna work if I need to treat it at some point. I literally have worn this jacket more than I've worn any other jacket that I have. I love it. I know I've said like 15 times that I love it, but and then the price point's amazing too. I think it was like 330, 340 range. Value for that is amazing. You're getting made in Italy. You're getting a good quality thing. You're getting transparency. You're not paying like to have it like at a store. But these are my Velasca kind of pickups over the last couple weeks. I'm really enthralled with the brand i think they make an amazing product and i'm happy to have the ability to wear them highly recommend the brand and i definitely will continue to buy them for the next couple of years but that's all i have for you guys thank you for coming make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment below i'll see you soon and goodbye